Have you ever noticed in the movies it seems like the shooter has endless rounds and never seems to run out of bullets? Well, a typical handgun can have anywhere between 1 to 15 rounds, while an AR or a rifle can have anywhere between 1 to 30 rounds. In this video, we're going to go over a few of the lies and things that we learned from Hollywood movies, as well as test a few objects to see how bulletproof they really are. Unlike the movies, not everybody knows how to fight like Jackie Chan, but the good news is that most active shooters don't expect resistance from civilians. They expect it from police officers. So that surprise might give you the advantage in a situation where you have to fight. 98% of all shootings involve one shooter and happen most likely in a business environment. And since most shootings happen in a business environment, we're going to test out a few things such as desks and doors to see how bulletproof they are. Luckily, today, we're actually wearing our own bulletproof T-shields to protect us. So we don't recommend doing this at home. As you can see it, penetrated all six times. You can see it went through really easily. Nine millimeter FMJ. All right, these are the three 9mm shots, 245s and one more. You can come around to the other side and see that nothing went through. When possible, get behind a cinder block or brick wall. <laughs> yep, definitely went through. Alright, as you can see, this is where we shot it the previous time without a backpack insert. Now we're going to see what happens when we put a Citizen Armor backpack insert level 2. Three shots. No penetration. Nine millimeter FMJ. Forty five ACP full metal jacket. Went through just like butter. All six shots. This is a normal hood of a car, very similar to a car door or other parts of the car. 9mm FMJ. Forty five ACP full metal jacket. Through, probably slowed the bullet a tad, but not a lot. Just goes to show you that hiding behind a car door isn't going to help too much. So, 
The uh, 345 shots, three 9mm shots, all penetrated. No surprise. Yep. Well, we've tested these everyday average objects, and we obviously have seen that a lot of them don't stop bullets. But we did that to help you to be aware of things you might, be, you might hide behind during an active shooter situation. Here at Citizen Arbor, we have two goals. The first is to educate and help people know what to do in those situations. The second is to prepare them mentally and physically. Uh, for those situations. We offer a full line of bulletproof armor from backpack inserts to vest like the one that you know Trevor and I are both wearing. This is a level two backpack insert and we're both wearing level two pieces of armor. This is called a T-Shield. Um, all the way up to tactical vests. Now what we're going to do is we're going to slip this large backpack insert in this backpack on our friend Bob and we're going to shoot it five times with a nine millimeter FMJ and five times with a 45 FMJ and see what happens. No penetration. Not at all. So our good friend Bob, he's currently wearing the Civi vest, um, level 2 protection. Right now we're both wearing a T-Shield, which also has the same level of protection, level 2 protection. Now we are going to shoot the Civi vest and see how well it holds up. As you can see, there's absolutely no penetration. Slight discoloration from receiving a couple slugs, but other than that, absolutely no penetration. Ended up shooting 15 45s and 20 9 millimeters, so a total of 35 bullets went into this armor. Except for one, we, uh, we actually missed where the armor was actually at and, and shot Bob right here. Sorry, Bob. But other than that, the, uh, the armor caught every single piece, and here's the proof. <laughs> All right, now we're going to test our T-Shield on Bob. This is our lowest profile uh, vest of armor. It be worn under clothes or above clothes. We're going to go ahead and test it on Bob. Once again, no penetration. In fact, slugs are also there. Thanks for joining us of this brief overview of what you should do in an active shooter situation. Hopefully you've learned something and can apply that in the future. If you'd like to know more about our product, please go to citizenarmor.com and we're always coming out with new products, new innovations, so please follow us on social media so you can keep up to date.